kicks, keep it real, no doubt. From the couch to your screen with a word of mouth, anime, movies, TV, we got the scoop, join the review crew, come and be part of the loop. Welcome to TacosTheGeeks.com, Justin here, back with more comic book reviews, and today we are going to be reviewing Teen- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number one. Yes, the new run has begun. At the time of this recording, the book is not out, so huge thank you to IDW for the review copy. This book will be out on July 24th, 2024, obviously. And without further ado, I'm going to give you a brief synopsis. So here we go. New series premiere, new jumping on point. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have all left New York to pursue their own interests. But there are forces gathering that will put them back together, whether the bad guys like it or not. First up, Raphael. But why is everyone's favorite brawler in prison? When a surprise attack behind bars puts Raphael's position in jeopardy, He needs to figure out how to get out of jail and warn his brothers that trouble is coming. This is written by Jason Aaron, who has done such books as The Mighty Thor, Batman Off-World, and he teams up with Joelle Jones, Lady Killer, and Catwoman for the first issue of a new TMNT series that will start a bold new era celebrating the TMT's 40th anniversary while setting them up for the next 40 years to come. So... Let us see how Jason and Jolie have done with issue number one. And I'm happy to say, as a big Turtles fan, I was really happy with issue number one. Issue number one is focusing on Raphael specifically and only on Raphael. These next couple of issues are going to be focusing on each individual turtle. And we're going to be seeing what each individual turtle was doing at the time of their little split. We don't know why they split. Right now, at least with issue number one, Raphael is in prison. As the synopsis says, we don't know why Raph is in prison. We know Raph does have to do something in prison. He has some deal with the Warren. But otherwise than that, everything is kept very, very vague. And I kind of like that because it adds a shroud of mystery. And I really did enjoy this, uh, this particular issue here. One is that we get a lot of characterization with Raphael, a lot of Raphael's inner thoughts. So there's a lot of monologue dialogue in this. So Raph is literally narrating the entire story here. And it actually works. I mean, I like what they did with it, especially with the art style, especially with the aesthetics, the way things are paced, the way things are drawn out. I wish this was actually a little bit longer because I just just the concept of a Ninja Turtle in prison. How would that look? And especially not just any Ninja Turtle, Raphael in prison with other inmates. And inmates are trying him. Like, they're stepping to him. In- inmates are trying to test Raph. How does that look? And it, I will have to say I was pleasantly surprised that I actually saw blood in here. You see stabbings in here. You, you it's, it's pretty gory in certain areas. Not saying that Raph kills, but... There are some deaths in this actual particular issue. And I was really pleasantly surprised that this is a little more of a darker take compared to the previous run. So what a way to separate yourself from the previous run of Ninja Turtles that we got before and just making it go, okay, we're going to be a little bit more graphic. We're going to be a little bit more darker. We're going to be a little bit more mature. And I think a lot of people were, were asking for another take of a dark Ninja Turtles besides the last run, at least a, a darker take in a full Ninja Turtles run. And I'm very happy to say that uh, Jason Aaron did a really great job of writing this particular issue and really doing enough to keep me interested in the plot, what's going on with Raphael, how did he get here, and just the, just the whole setting of the turtles in prison really worked for me. You get a little bit of glimpses of the turtles in the past. So things are already established. They're not going over the whole backstory of how they became mutant turtles. I think at at, at 40 plus years of the turtles, the turtles have been here even before I was alive. So like three years before I was alive. So just for me, someone who grew up with the turtles, it's so great and refreshing to see that it's lasted this long. And I'm just really, really pleasantly surprised with this book. 
So I'm definitely going to be giving this a must read. This is going to be a nice change of pace from the turtle books that we've been getting. So I'm liking this darker tone. I'm liking the character focus. And I think that's what I really like about it. The character focus, the character driven aspect of this. Just like the last run that we got when it was focusing on, on Mikey and what Mikey was going through. And I still have to review issue number two of the last Roman. I haven't forgotten. But yeah, this this was good. I'm definitely going to give this a must pick up. Solid, solid A. Really enjoyed this one. This is Justin from AtakusGeeks.com. When this book comes out, tell me what you think of Turtles issue number one. Did you like the characterization? Did you like the setting of Raphael in prison? Did you like that it's a little bit more dark, a little more gory? There are other elements in here that I purposely did not talk about. It does have to do with a certain clan, but we will get to that as it gets released later down the line. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you watch this on YouTube. If you are watching this on AtakusTheGeeks.com, browse our website, check out our editorials, whole bunch of other stuff coming. I actually have another Ninja Turtles video coming for, it's going to be the top 10. Um, next top 10 episode is going to be featuring Ninja Turtles. We're going to be counting out the best Ninja Turtle game, so it's kind of obvious what number one is, but this is going to be a fun video, so keep it locked in on TacosGeeks.com. Later days, catch you on the next one. Peace.